Hello. What's Hi, up, guys? Everybody. Hey. Um, we're back with like two extras. Yeah. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Because like they know us. They know our name. Ladies first. Oh. <laughs> I aged before beauty. <laughs> Alright, my name is Tanyara Zochambachi and my nickname Chambers is I go by and that nickname is only available on weekends. Anyways, um, my name is Anesu Kakura. Um, I've been invited to do this thing. Uh, free of charge, there's no snacks offered, no, no pizza, no. He's like, what? I'll go with the water. <laughs> yeah, I came with my own. Hydrate yourself. Yeah. So today we're just doing a little, what would, what would you say? Like a, like a QA. Like a what it's like. But it's just to like be, a. Yeah, what it's like to be a Zimbabwean slash international speaker in Swansea. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I guess Swansea. the. Yeah. So, like, just a side note, we're all Zimbabwean. All of us. Like, just all of us. We all hail from the same motherland. Um, how did you guys find out about Swansea? Hey. Oh. Um. Was that, was that dude? Andrew. Yeah, that guy, he came on to do a talk on. Uh, did he come to Saints as well? Yeah, I came to, came to Saints. came to Saints and when I was up at six. So in his high school? St. George's. St. George's College, yeah. To talk about. To talk about. Uh, Their schools were our rivals. rivals. Yeah. Funny enough, the. What are they called? Um, my agent, I don't know, yeah, the agent that was helping me look for universities at the time I actually went to Swansea. So as you can imagine, there was no bias at all. So she she fully saw me. She told me about her experiences and tutors and her experiences and tutors and tutors and tutors. <laughs> actually, that's a great question. So you did through an agent? I actually did through an agent. Through yeah. an agent. So our high school had like a fully functioning yeah. career department. Yeah. So we didn't so have just, to go through an agent. We just on Newcastle yeah. yeah. I think I knew people that were already here. Um, there were a lot of people that were already here um, that I knew. Um, there was a girl who went to our high school who was here um, uh, two actually yeah um, and there were some other people that I met um, who had recently gone to Swansea so it was a name I was familiar with but then obviously I then did my research and that kind of stuff and but yeah. Yeah, I think similar to Tash, um, our teacher would get us in touch with like the people who were already in Swansea. Yeah. <clears throat> I went, to, so I played hockey, I was on the same hockey team as one of the girls that's here. So I knew she was here but, like two years before I came to Swansea. So I knew that like when I needed someone to talk to, I was like, yo girl, what's up? It was always like Destiny, right? Destiny. Yes, that's what it was. Destiny. Like Destiny. Oh, man, it's me. I know we talk about. I think you know like you guys already so, know. So yeah, we went um, to high school together. Yeah, so we've known each other for like ages. I met him when I was 15 because he's cousins with a friend of mine, actually. Really? Yeah. But I'm gonna be Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we don't even know. We don't even know. Wow. I was like, which cousin knows? Yeah. We we <laughs> actually <laughs> ended up <laughs> at the same holiday destination when we were 15. Oh, that's how we met. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's how we met. I knew Chambers because he was friends with some friends of mine growing up in high school. Mm -hmm. Just friends? Just yeah, friends. just friends. Just friends. Yeah. You, know, you know how it is. Um, oh, but we God. actually, I think we found out we were going to Swansea at a mutual friends party. Oof, you're gonna have to remind me about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 You don't remember? <laughs> Yeah, you don't remember the party, yeah. you don't remember. So it was um, our head boys uh, or ex head boys party, and uh, were you there? She just said she I was there. I no, just, no, 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 just, no, no, I, no, I, no, I just, said that. I, I said that because I, I just. I <laughs> just like to say our relationships are so much stronger than they were. Not over now. Huh? Yeah. yeah. We literally. They met at a party, okay? Cool. We didn't meet, but you know what it's Well, like. that's how they found out they went to the same um, uni at the party, even though only one person remembers us, but it's fine, we're all here, that's the most important thing. I've always known Cheeto, um, just 
from the yeah. beginning. Um, well, not the beginning, beginning, but like the beginning of high school. So we've known each other forever. So yeah. so cute. Um, I met him at an event that we had after high school, actually. Um, during I guess you could call it a gap year. I don't know. Yeah, the, the, like the period of time before we come to you. That's just yeah. an extended waiting period. Yeah, yeah, that's really what it is. Um, I was, I think he was sitting on, we were at a well, charity football game, and he was sitting next to someone talking about Swansea, um, and I was like, wait, what? And I don't know what he was saying about Swansea, and I was like, I'm going to Swansea, and he was like, I'm going to Swansea, and I was like, no. And then he was like, do you know Cheetos going to Swansea? Then I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's oh my mind. <laughs> She's over dramatizing. I was reacting. I was really calm the whole time. Like, yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> like, 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 Point is, yeah. um, uh, then found out Cheetos going. Yeah. I just knew, I knew him because he knew people from my school. That's, that's really it. Like, we only became friends when we came to university. Like, that's it. Um, yeah, I think that's that's a question. Um, so you sing go. Dance break? Yeah! Uh, 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 hey. Okay! <laughs> 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 Questions, if any, did you have beforehand, before coming to Sony? Social media. I think I wanted to know if there were going to be other Africans. Like as a genuine thing, because the one of the things that really made me excited to go to Sanjay was on the website. Was about the website. There was a girl holding a Zimbabwe flag. flag. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh snap! I won't be alone. Like I know there's gonna be a community. That was mm, community. That was a really important thing. What questions, if any, did you have before? Um, any apprehensions? Were you nervous about something? Well, I know, but I mean, yeah, because like uni, yeah. and uni abroad, and that's a good question though, like nerves about like yeah. coming abroad. I think it was easier for, for me personally because like I knew I had, and Chambers, like who were coming, uh, and we had friends that were already here. Yeah. I think I was <laughs> nervous, but um, yeah, it was it was downplayed a lot, by the, and Tash and I were in the same building, oh, yeah. so that was like a lot easier. Yeah, so there was some confusion that you guys did. We you, did you, pure chance. Destiny. Pure chance. Yeah, pure pure chance. Pure chance. I was left out of this collusion, man. I'm sorry. I was just by myself. Next time. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. I think I was worried about like the food. Um, oh. More than anything, just because... Bro, steak is expensive. Um, yeah, I mean... Damn! Yeah, you realize that you're not living on your parents' pockets that like things are like, just a lot milk and expensive. bread you guys like these are like basic things but yeah right. but i think yeah just in general like the food because right. i knew it wasn't i knew it was going to be different because back home there's certain things you can rely on so you, you you trust that the taste is going to be consistent but as soon as you go to a different country food tastes different here food tastes different meat me taste Especially um, peanut butter. It's done differently. Peanut butter isn't the same as back home, I guess, because of how it's made back home and what we're used to. Um, Dad, I missed yeah. it. <laughs> Dad, are you okay? Bro, it's so expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, every time I look, I go past and look like, if only you could, if only. If only you should. Yeah, yeah. If only that. I shed, I shed a tear sometimes. What do you like most about Tonzi? I think like easy, like moving around, walking, like, like walking. Most yeah. Of oh, yeah. you can walk to places. True. Like a lot, because it's not a big city. Yeah. So like, if you want to do your grocery shopping, go to the movies. Yes. Yeah. You can agree. Yeah, wow. Most most yeah. of the shops that you end up going to just walking distance. You don't yeah. have to go like the other side of town. Yeah, true. Like, that is very true. So, yeah. Um, and food isn't as expensive as a lot of other UK towns, I've noticed. Yes. Um, Swansea is cheap. I think it is one of the most affordable cities to live like in. Yeah. Um, and I think in general, to be fair, because I mean, yeah, as soon as you step out of Swansea, you realize like, how expensive things are. Um, I think we talked about it in our bath video. Check it out. Oh, Just a little yeah. thing. Yeah, we went to bath. Oh. The place. <laughs> you don't need to move. I don't need to move. Oh, I see. Oh, it's okay. Next time. <laughs>
<laughs> you see these lies. I've just been lied to. Let me speak the truth. Yeah. Um, for me, I think I like the people as well, but I also like the sunsets. So like oh, I think yes. maybe it's I think it's just generally but also on Bay Campus because we're so close um to the sea. We are on the beach. We're bright by the beach. When the sun sets, it is the colors, I don't know whether it's just about Swansea or it's you get, but there's a different kind of sunset here. You know, they're like African sunsets and then there's Swansea. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's different, but they're both beautiful. Yeah, and it's so nice, especially maybe like if you have lectures towards the end of the day, getting out and just seeing that the most relaxing thing. What do you like most about Swansea since coming? I want to listen to the Instagram. The people. Yeah, the people solid. I don't think the people are cool, although although they're Welsh accent sometimes. It's hard. If you're not used to doing it, it, the Welsh accent yeah. is very good. Yeah, the, like in the beginning, I thought that some people needed subtitles. Like, it was like, I was like, <laughs> wow. you just need, just, like, you need some subtitles sometimes. Yeah, I think that's tricky. But now it's weird because I just, I, I just, I pick I it like up that person as well. Welsh, yeah. But other than that, like, I, I understand, understand Welsh. That is, no, no, I don't understand Welsh, but understand <laughs> Welsh speakers. <laughs> Chris, oh. Chris. Oh, the, oh, the Chris thing, that big thing at Primark. Borda, Borda, Borda. Um, Grinanda, well, um, Let's go. Abatawi. <laughs> that's on your student ID card. That's on your, don't let them lie to you say, oh, they're going like bullshit. No, no, no. That's wow. perfect. Whatever is on your student ID. For, for what? For what? Croeso. That thing. That is Croeso. Croeso. Croeso is at the entrance of Primark. No, don't, don't even finesse these people. No, no, no. Dio. 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 Yeah, don't know where you see that one. That's thank you. Oh, I'm also learning how to say. That's as far as I go, go, go. What struggles have you faced by being here? Stay. Okay. I'm, I have no Other <laughs> struggles. Stay. This one specifically being Zimbabwe, it was we had a bit of strife going on back home. Oh yeah. I think yeah. It, I think two you, very distinct yeah. points. Three very distinct points. And then having was, things happen at home while you're here and I guess people always say that like, you know, sometimes the way that you see it on, you know, international media, you know, so like on BBC, on Sky, on CNN, it's not necessarily truly reflective of what's going on at like at home. So it's like, yeah. Um, so everything is like, oh my God, people are dying. Like, honestly, I think mean, in the 20, like November 2017. Oh my gosh, yeah. When, so there was a coup back home, back home yeah, but like it wasn't then. Yeah, the coup, not a coup. Um, but, like reports back home, everyone's like, yo, it's the most united we've ever been. And, and like on the news, they were like tanks in the street. And, and like, it was the scariest thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think dealing with that. I don't know, have you guys had to deal with homesickness? Yeah, a few times. Yeah. I don't know if I call it homesickness. Like, there are times when I'm like, oh, this would be great if I was home, or like, oh, my people. I think I miss my people more than I miss home. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, no, there's times when you just miss certain things about the home environment. Yeah. Because like um, even though you yeah. even though you and you live here, back home you know where everything is. That's true. Related yeah. to you. It's like, oh I know where the shops are, I know um where the movies are, I know where my school is, I know how to get to point A to point B, no problem. And then when you come to university you're like, okay. First few weeks you only know one place. Oh yeah. <laughs> the, the university. university. The university. <laughs> And Tesco. Then you're learning, <laughs> then you're like you're relearning. Oh yeah, yeah. All these different places, and then now you're like, oh, but they want to go to a different city. You're like, oh, oh how? Yeah. Do you, then, oh yeah. And you have to think, but you have to learn new things like oh, transportation. Oh, learning how to yeah, do like trains. Trains. Train, yeah. Like I know that sounds weird. Trains. But like the railway back home isn't as effective as the one here. Yeah, it's not existing. Yeah. And so. <laughs> Coming here, yeah, learning how using to trains, to using buses, public back transport home, is. It, it, I like, and this is just like the bus system here for traveling is a lot more reliable than the one back home. Oh, but, yeah, and I guess m most people, like if they can afford it, drive places. Like if they're going to go to a different town. So when I think of going to a different town, instantly having to drive, it's like, like oh, I don't drive, have right. a car. So then people go, yeah, just use the bus or the train. And then that's like, what? I think that's a, sorry, that brings me to like a very interesting question is, did you guys have any culture shock? 
wasn't sh- Yeah, like it wasn't like shock. Like a real thing. <laughs> yeah. It's because you see it wasn't when wasn't shock really though. Just differences. Yeah. Which is you let you notice. I think mm-hmm. the thing that I realized. I think having watched TV. Yeah, like it's sad to say, but. <laughs> and because of social media, you I think they were the things you could expect. And then you also came with your own. What, what's, what's, what's the word? Like thoughts about oh, the yeah. culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, for me, I know from watching like TV and seeing all those things, so there are certain things I knew were here that weren't back home. So. I knew certain things, did research before, <laughs> did research before, so when I came, it wasn't really crazy different. People, I guess there are certain cultures, sorry, pub culture, so yeah. back home, <laughs> right, uh, maybe this is just, you know, I love your mom and dad, but um, you know, sometimes like parents can be a bit strict, right? <laughs> 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 But it's time to know the truth like, um, <laughs> about this one. <laughs> no, no, no. no back home, like that. I would never. I yeah. would not set foot in a pub. I. What would I know? Pub, genuinely. And like, caught the, no. Oh, so now you caught the bug. No, you see, here's the thing. It's, it's you different. understand that pubs here, it's different. So it's like the culture is already ingrained in the culture. So you can go with a bunch of friends and go to the pub the same way we would go to. Millers, Miller. or like yeah, because Miller, yeah, like Millers, or like yeah, like normal restaurants, restaurant, restaurant. yeah, just like a normal yeah. restaurant. That's kind of what it's like to go to a pub, and then you go to fancier restaurants for like special occasions. Yeah, but your pub is your day to day thing. Yeah, and like the way people drink here and the way people drink at home is a bit different. So learn, different. so learning mm. to be around alcohol during the day and going, hey mom, yeah, I'm in the pub. And like because my mom luckily knows the culture, she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's what they do there. And I was like, oh, thank God. Um, but yeah, I think oh, that was probably the biggest thing for me. What is it like being in Swansea? That's such a hard question. Windy. What does that mean? Windy. <laughs> nah, <laughs> bro. That the, the times when I'm walking to my lectures, I feel like I'm catching a shoulder lean every time. <laughs> 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 I'm 